What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today, we're back on some MX bikes and today I'm going to be doing something that I've not covered before and if you go to the MXB Mods website, at the top there is a list section and if you scroll down there is a pop most popular of all time, so I thought it would be quite interesting to see what the most popular track is. Now this is based on number of views that a post has rather than number of downloads. Uh, it would be quite cool to have a download section, but I know that I think it resets every time people update their tracks, for example. Uh, so if we do some scrolling and we'll just go past the first few things here, it includes all mods, it's not just tracks, but we'll go to the first track. So we've got the OEM bikes, which kind of get updated year on year, so that all kind of compiles within itself. Uh, we've got the kind of PST templates and such for the OEMs as well, supermotos, enduros, and then the first track I guess you could say is trial which isn't a track at all so we're not going to be doing trial we're not going to be doing bike life stuff uh, we've got factory bikes uh, tire replacement max hud more bike life stuff which is a 50cc pack which I'm surprised has over a hundred thousand views we then have another bike life circuit we've got another bike life circuit and then finally we come down here at 98.5 thousand views which is barely the winner by the way because Paletto Raceway V2 is only just behind it but Moto Factory Compound, created by Janes and Jones. We have to go way back to the 4th of April 2022 on my channel, which is when the first and the last time that I played this track. Video actually done really, really well. Uh, however, my channel was half the size it is today. When I first covered this, we was at about 26,000 when that video released. So I thought it'd be cool to rewind time a little bit and load it up again and see how it plays, especially now that the game's changed a lot, the bikes have changed a lot, and just see if it rides the same and it is just as fun. It's a massive compound. It's got Supercross, it's got a big Nationals track, it's got free ride area, little wooded trail, like there's all sorts there. It's absolutely massive. So let's see how it goes. For all of you passionate gamers, you can now get 20% off all G Fuel products worldwide by using code LINS at checkout. And for any of you motorheads looking for some new drip or apparel, use code MXPR underscore LINS15, fxrracing.eu to get 15% off. All links and codes are in the description down below. Enjoy the video and drop a cheeky little like and subscribe. Right, we're going to try doing this whole face cam thing just throughout the course of a video to see how it goes. Uh, it's probably not something that I'll do all the time, but I'm trying to get myself used to being in front of the camera just a little bit more for when it comes for live streams, etc. However, this track that we've got right here, this is probably one of the first like massive compounds that we had in this game. And as I said in the intro, it's got like a huge national track that goes around the outside of it. We've got a supercross track on the infield here. This is all part of the nationals track as well. Over in the background here, we've got a little uh, freestyle area. We've got a like enduro -y slash trail section over here in the woods too. And it's it was one of like the first big compounds that got released into this game. And I think James and Jones done a very, very good job of it. And it's very nice to be back. So I'm on the, what bike are we on? That's a good question. Let's have a look. Factory uh, Kawasaki 450 today. So we're going to rip a few laps of each track, see how it goes. And I hope you enjoy. Right, yo, the headphones are on. That means it's game timer. Now, usually instead of having the camera here, so it's looking at me from the side, I can have it on my monitor in front of me. So it's looking directly at me. However, the backdrop behind me is just shit, so at least here you can see something that's like kind of motocross related. In the background it's literally just my exercise bike and a cupboard, so I thought this was probably the better angle to go with overall. Uh, so yeah, a little information on this, this was a compound I think specifically made slash paid for by the Moto Factory team. Uh, it was It's completely free and never released on the shop. I'm trying to think back to when the shop first came about and I do believe it was about when this track was released um, and if you ask me just due to the sheer scale of this I, I was very surprised when it came out that it wasn't on there just considering uh, like the sort of tracks that we get on there these days is it, it is mostly compounds and I think this is one of them tracks that really paved the way for just large areas in this game and tr tracks that had just multiple sections overall now you have to forgive me because I'm not running Max HUD these days it might take me a couple of laps to get warmed up to this track again. Issue being is this national track, it's huge. There's there's a lot of blind jumps to it. Uh, very hard to dictate what speed you need to go a lot of time, especially when I've not played it in well over a year at this point. So I'm gonna, we'll try and I guess just survive for a lap, just tiptoe our way around, try and not absolutely massively over jump or case things. Massive sand section here, holy. Very glad that on these factory bikes, by the way, they've got what they call a spec tire, which kind of covers all different soil types. Uh, so, oh, I forgot that's a wall. This isn't going to go well. 
Okay, we survived. Uh, yeah, so that's, this one tyre kind of covers all, so there's no need for me to be very, very careful in the sand compared to the soft soil sections, for example. So that is a massive W. We haven't got to be careful. We can just try and send it absolutely everywhere. We're coming off into the kind of back section here, so this should be a step up into a left. It is massive split section here, although I think whenever I used to take the inside here back in the day, I noticed it's still got the road, and I can promise you, hand on heart by the way, that I've not touched this track in a while, so it's still got the road from when I had it before. So that's saved in the file somewhere, which is kind of cool. And th unless it comes on the track like that, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, they, the inside and that big split section, I never used to be able to hit cleanly. The back end would always step out a little bit. Some very big jumps down here. I'm scared of over jumping this one. Let's check up a bit. Greased it. Greased it. Greasy. It's like I spend all day here instead. Big inside rut. And then I think we just double our way through these rollers. Hold on, dear buddy. We can indeed. And I'm I'm very surprised that this track is up there in terms of like the most viewed of all time. Because I don't think I ever see it on any servers at all. Even though it is a free track, I just don't see people riding on it. Which, it, it does surprise me. And I was even more shocked to see that... I can understand Trial being up there in terms of the most viewed of all time, but I was very surprised to see three different uh, bike life style tra maps being at the top. And I think whilst uh, we do shun the bike life guys quite a lot in the motocross community, uh, I feel like we, we definitely look down on them. I've definitely had my fair share of negative comments towards them back in the day. That's just from personal experience. Like, I don't live very far from London. I mean, even in my area, you get people that are not particularly nice, let's say, that are into the bike life scene, that will just uh, ride around on their stolen bikes, like two up with a friend, and they'll just go and rob people at knife, I was going to say gunpoint, but you know, we haven't really got those in the UK, uh, at knife point, and just, I don't know, steal people's bags, steal people's motorbikes, etc. So it just hasn't got the best reputation, so I think that's where a lot of my opinions of it stem from. I know there's going to be people out there that are not like that at all, uh, but I feel like they're quite few and far between at least where i'm from at least i know it can be different scenes all over the world if that's what you're into then fair play i can't knock you for it everyone likes what they like um, but yeah, i think as a whole that's why the motocross community kind of looked down on the bike life as a little bit um but they're definitely strong in their numbers i'm i'm dog shit they're definitely strong in their numbers especially to be having like over a hundred thousand views and that 50 cc bike pack which i i didn't know was a thing i thought it was when i first kind of came across it I thought it was like rip models so I'm surprised that it's still about so it must not be it must be fine because I think everything that's on mods kind of gets checked at one point see if it's stolen from somewhere um, but yeah I mean massive massive props to all you I guess that's why there's a dedicated uh, wheelie weirdos channel in the main MX bikes discord and I'm always seeing trial servers up online whenever I come on it's, it's always one of the most populated servers in the game so fair play and I find just doing normal wheelies to be very easy on this game so i think it gets very boring quickly for me but there's some people that i've seen i've seen clips of people you know doing like the really slow one doing their coasting doing 180s or 360s on the back wheel and that's the sort of thing that i find impressive because i can't comprehend doing that just with the way the bike's physics work uh, i feel like the bike gets really really wonky when you get on the back wheel at low speeds so there is there is a bit of respect there you know i, I do like to give people a compliment when they deserve it. I'm pretty sure my last Spike Life video, which for some reason the YouTube algorithm now is massively recommending to people. It's up at like 50 something thousand views out of nowhere. So W YouTube, I guess. Um, it was a ride out with me and me and Charlie in it. We just joined a ride out, which it was good fun to be fair whilst it lasted. Um, but there was one guy in there who was absolutely insane, probably like the best uh, wheelie I've ever seen. Can I scumbag this and we'll go from outside, cut across the inside, lovely. And then I don't know how big this roller is, it's not actually that big at all. What I like about this track is the ruts, like they're very very long and they're not uniform at all, they're not just a smooth arc, they really make you think about what you're doing. Oh Jesus, factory suspension please save me, it did, lovely. I would be very very surprised if I actually get a clean lap of this full nationals track throughout this video because it's just it's a very very long lap i definitely think it's over the two minute mark and it's just it's difficult as it is it's not just a case of trying to memorize it like the ruts and the bumps are difficult and they do lend a challenge so trying to be as smooth as possible is not the easiest of things i keep crashing the sand so we're gonna can i switch over oh that that actually felt pretty quick i'm not sure about the exit though exit on that right hand side that seems a little bit 
bit weird. What's the inside like here? Be careful. Tiptoe. Lovely stuff. Yeah, I yeet up over the finish, which I've absolutely destroyed. Backflip. Do it for the fans. Oh, lovely. Absolutely clean. Hit the triple. Double. Should probably be able to triple out there if you don't over jump it. I'm going to go double to the inside. I remember when this track first released, trying to throw my mind back a little bit. I think I struggled quite a lot in this sand because it's, it's quite choppy and rough on the front end and I think back then the bikes were so like susceptible to just tuck in the front really really easy on sand. Let's try this inside a little bit. Standing up on the pegs especially where it's uphill and off camber I feel like when you sit down especially specifically when you're in like super deep ruts or against a massive berm uh, if you sit down too much and the suspension fully compresses against it the bike stands itself up when you just wobble a little bit so standing up does tend to alleviate that for the most part got a tiny tabletop at the top here a little step down and i'm going to see if we can get a little bit steezy off this we throw oh no we can't i've pre-jumped by mistake by turning on the ruts we are alive though i'll take it i'll take it let's try the middle rut yet i've not done that at all we're gonna go double i think you can definitely go I don't think you go triple triple. I feel like it's a triple double single if you take the outside. Send it for the fans. Look over the shoulder. Do a barsha. Look over at the GoPro. Lovely. Step all the way down. Oh god, we're coming in with some speed. Let's go second rut rather than inside. Up on the pegs. Oh, holds you very, very well. Step up again. Throwing it fat. Throwing it sideways. I'm probably going to jinx myself here. But I was on about doing a lap without crashing. We have not crashed yet on this lap. I love uh, little details. Like you can see where the, in between the takeoff and landing on that jump. They've made it so it looks like the rains kind of eroded the ground away a little bit. Just like water trails. Big that here as well. It looks like the track's actually eroded where it's not been ridden on. And the side of the sand too. Don't see much of that. You see it a little bit but not to this extent where it looks like it's weathered. Rather than just slightly not ridden on. It looks like it's not been touched for a very very long time. I think we've only got a couple of jumps left to go. We've got this big old step down. I just want the front end to survive this, please. Thank you. Going to try and hook this inside. Oh, God, I almost overturned. You can't go on the right side here. I've been jumping on the inside the whole time, but that right, it's quite a, it's low. You don't really take off at all, which felt very, very quick. We'll try and hit this trans little transfer again, going inside, back to inside. Let's try and get turned a little bit tighter. I don't think you can double all the way over this hill. I do think it is meant to be a slight checkup. No! Ah, last corner. Let, you'd have to let me off there. I got a little bit too confident. But as you see, lap times are kind of two and a half minute-ish. And that's the Nationals track. So I think... I've been eyeing up the Supercross over there a little bit, so let's go spin some laps of that, and then we'll mess around on the Forest track too. Now, I had a pretty decent memory of the Nationals track. However, if you used to sit me down and threaten my life and say, if you can tell me what any of the sections on the Moto Factory compound look like in the Supercross track, I would not be alive anymore. I have no idea. I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, I do think, in terms of texturing at least, just from being on the track for like 10 seconds. The Supercross track is not as uh, detailed as the Nationals one is at all. It's actually a little bit difficult to see the uh, the takeoffs and the landings. Uh, it's just kind of like the sun shadows that you have to go off, not the texture itself. This is... Oh, a bit it's a little bit ropey, not going to lie. I think when, when it comes to Supercross tracks, it's a little bit more tricky trying to transfer your skill over from one to another because depending on who the track creator is, everyone scaling in supercross is completely different from each other there's no two track creators that their supercross tracks will feel the same whereas nationals i feel like it's a little bit easier there's a lot more breathing room you've not got a downside things perfectly you've not got to hit the corners perfectly either uh, so it takes me whilst i do definitely enjoy learning supercross tracks a little bit more than nationals they're definitely more difficult to do so uh, the bowl turns on this track are actually very forgiving which is nice uh, we'll see i think was this a triple it was a triple. And we've got dragons back onto a table. Let's try not to wad myself this time. Table, table. Oh, God, I went a little bit too fast at the start of that. So it's table, table, and then step off and double into the corner. We go double in here. Triple. We can probably quad that. We'll go on 
off. I don't think I've got the speed to step on there, so we'll go double and double again. Lots of runoff room, so the gap between the last jump of the section and the corner is quite big. Hit a backflip for the fans, land it. Nope. I'm getting there, I'm learning. The brain's taking all the information in. This inside rut's actually quite shallow to get stuck into, but thankfully the factory 450 bikes have hella acceleration, so we're able to get the supercross triple out the corner very, very easily. Then back across the start straight here. I'm not sure what lap times are. Um, I've not backed out of the of testing and loaded up the track individually. So in terms of timing, you can load up the motocross track, the supercross track, and the forest trail track separately. So if you are interested in getting lap times on each of those, then they have set you up to do so. All right, see if we can hit this a little bit better again. So we'll check up. We'll go on, 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 off, double. Then what can we triple in from here? Oh no, we just sorry, we step on double step off or triple step off or oh, this this section's a little bit tricky it might take me a little bit of time to work out exactly what i want to do through there all right here we go we're going to treat this corner as our uh, finish line jump essentially oh never mind i think that's the finish line it's just a double so we go over the finish line we double we so we go over the finish line, we double into the corner without going too fast this time, hopefully. Thank you. Very easy whoop section, like I've not even... I could just hold the right trigger, it's absolutely fine. It's no issue at all. And we can hit the supercross triple. I'm gonna check up a little bit more this time. And we go to step on, step on, off, double into the corner. I'm gonna go inside, so we can go double in. And then we hit the triple, oh! So my plan is to downside that single. And then we send this. This is the issue. I don't know if we send this and we just downside here, or if we go all the way to this next single and downside this one. I really didn't expect this video to be turned into trying to get a perfect supercross lap, if I'm honest. So round the big berm again, through the very easy whoop section. Just do 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 triple all the way into the corner. Check up a little bit. Thankfully the bales have collisions, so it checked me up by itself. I didn't even have to break. So we go double into the corner we're going to check up a little bit on this one to then send and quad to then send and quad again oh no double into the corner go inside here to then go quad quad again oh god damn. i can't i can't get the lift can't quite get the bike up and over that this is where it just kind of cuts to me it's just staring at the screen because i'm concentrating so much but I really, I do really want to get a clean lap of this track. It's going to annoy me if I don't, at least before we move on to the foresty track. So I just need to get my bike over to the left-hand side of the track a bit more here, because then I think the takeoff here is a bit steeper. Oh my god, no! Honestly, this section might be the death of me. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna annoy me so much. And I think the issue is that I'm over jumping the first quad, so I think I'm over jumping this one. And now I've checked up too much. It's now become a case of not even trying to get a perfect lap. It's just trying to hit this damn rhythm section cleanly once. And there might not even be the line, but it's just the line that these factory bikes seem to open themselves up for. So, again, I've overjumped it. I've even set a mark here on the landing of this triple, just so I can just keep hitting it rather than starting the lap from the beginning. God damn it. I feel like it's definitely not meant to be the line. But these bikes, where they've got so much acceleration, they just want to hit it. So if we scrub that a bit, please, please, tap the brake. Yes, oh, that was close. You know what? We'll take it. Let's go onto the forest track. I think we've been on here for long enough now. One of the big features on this track, actually, uh, right here, we can either hit a transfer and downside this bridge, or you can just ride the bridge normally. Nice and rideable. Doesn't have weird collisions on it at all. Cool little thing to go up and over the track, which I do really like and appreciate. So where on earth is... I'm trying to have a little scan around. I think it's like this direction of this forest track. Here she is. Right, I found it. I found it. So where's the... Oh, I just completely, I'm guessing that's the start over there, but I completely went past it either way. So let's just do, I'll only do a lap or two around here. This is nothing kind of like out of this world, breathtaking. Although it is, it is sand traction. I'm not sure if you can hear that at all in the video. I just had to double, double check that. So this is, again, yeah, more of a foresty kind of trail, not a proper motocross track at all, just a little bit of fun. It does feel very, very slippery. So maybe it's not normal sand. Maybe this is a little bit different. It definitely feels slipperier than normal sand does. Uh, but I'm, I'm not against it because I can definitely... I can feel it weighing the bike down a little bit. So when you're in this tight and twisty stuff, you don't want the bike to be super overpowered. Although I am on a 450, so that probably is a weird thing to say. Uh, but it's it's definitely trying to keep me at the right speed. Log jump. Get it. Get it. Get it. No. I had no idea 
that I made this sound during this recording, but if I have to listen to it, you have to as well. That is the wettest tongue known to mankind. That is horrific. Object number two, we'll check up there. I don't know how many gates this track has. Obviously, it is, it is raceable, I believe, just because it's got its own uh, timing gate system. Uh, this could be a fun one to race against people on. Like, genuinely. I imagine trying to bang bars for people around here could be quite fun. That's already a lap, so it is a very, very short track. I mean, we may as well do a second lap. We're not going anywhere. We've got nothing else to do. It's a Friday, you know. Everyone's at work right now. The time is currently 12.20pm for me. So we're just going to be playing some MX bikes. We'll do another lap of this. And then there's one... So I said there was a free ride section in terms of like freestyle ramps and jumps. But there's actually, I, I guess, kind of like a track layout with a bunch of massive jumps on there that... It's probably not going to go well for me, not being the best free ride guy, not being able to time my massive jumps too well. But I'm definitely going to give it a run, give it an attempt to see if I can get a little bit steezy, throw some phase. Hit a little double over these logs, lovely. Don't slide out again this time. Nice. Log number two. And then we just hit a little step down. And I think it's just a right and then a left. And then I think we're back to where we started, which if we come down here please don't go off the track oh my goodness we are so this is where things might go down here a little bit we've done the bits that i wanted to do now it's free ride time as you can see there are some big old booter jumps for us to be sending that was not an oppo how i intended please survive yes thank god so we can get a little bit steezy throw it fat for the boys that was huge i didn't expect it to be that big what do you mean by that Ah, both options are viable. You can go up or you can turn sharply there already. So is this a big... This, this is literally just a big send down the hill. Okay, or alternatively, you can just take this as a corner and then yoy up over this. Good to know. There's a little bit of diversity there. Uh, there's a jump over to the right or there's a jump straight ahead, which takes us into what I thought was just the main free ride area. And I think right over the back in the distance here, if I... Oh! Just MX bike things. There's a little turn track here under the trees as well, so I won't I won't bother with that too much. Uh, but yeah, these these models, uh, in terms of like these ramps, I didn't expect it to. I feel like that worked better back in the day. I'm not sure if the the updated bikes or tires over time has kind of affected how they interact with models, but that doesn't seem viable anymore. That doesn't seem very doable. So yeah, that's a well actually I don't know how far it goes off into the distance here into the trees. So we send it up over this way. Oh my god. How am I alive? I, I'm, I'm not now. I like this a lot. It kind of just jumps back and forth over the forest track that we just did. And I feel like... I don't... Is free ride something that you just have a knack for at some point? Because obviously I, I play... The game a fair amount like more than the average person and when it comes to like the big jumps on the nationals track i was able to kind of gauge how far i should hit it and how fast i need to go when it comes to free ride like sections like this i have absolutely no idea how fast i need to be hitting things i'm always over jumping or coming up a little bit short and i think a lot of times because i'm trying to get a bit too steezy without realizing how fast i need to go i right, send this bad boy i've actually got that I got that, I got that, I got that, yes, right. I'm not going to go left because I don't want to hit those uh, metal ramps anymore because they just don't seem to work these days. Uh, we send this, hit it faster than I did last time. I think I've landed in exactly, exactly the same place. I'm not happy. I want to get a good run of this as well. I've even set a marker down. So we hit the big double first. We then go to the left here. I want to check up a little bit more than I did last time. That was absolutely fine. Can I get the speed to get up and over this? Barely. Round to the right, we're going to drop down, hit the yar yeet. God, that sends you so high. I'm not going to scrub that, because I just didn't feel like I had enough speed to begin with. And we send this bad boy, check up. I checked up a little bit, I need to check up a lot. Holy moly. I don't know if we're going to get it. don't know if we're going to get it. Stretch it. Dab the brake. That was clean. That was very clean. And then a double. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They're going then another little double round to the right. Skirt. And then we jump all the way down here with a lot of speed. You know what? I think I've showcased my lack of talent enough. Uh, overall, Motor Factory Compound is really good fun. Like, it genuinely is. And I don't feel like my couple of laps on each track do it nearly enough justice. You know, you could probably spend a lot more time than I have on here. Uh, I'm not surprised that it's 
Oh, well, I'm very surprised it's the top one because I really don't see it in serves at all. But I'm not surprised that it's up there overall. Like, it's a really, really good compound. And again, one of the first, like, massive ones that we had in the game. Uh, so to James and to Jones, a uh, really, really good job. I believe they're still about making tracks every now and then. I uh, haven't seen anything from them in a while, at least. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully they can get back to it. I, I see Jones in racing all the time, but I've not seen James for quite a while. So... What, what is this game? So I, I'm not sure what the case is there, but either way, really, really enjoyable. I definitely recommend you go and download it yourself. You know what? Con controller's going to come. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're up to, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.